Hello. My name is Literary Haley and I love to talk about books, specifically romance books where audiobooks are my jam. We're gonna ignore what's happening back here. I am in my new bedroom in our fifth wheel. So we are still working out all of the little kinks. Hopefully I will have like a better setup. And if I do end up having to film in here, hopefully I can get a little bit better lighting and I will actually make my bed because right now everything's just kind of thrown on here. I only have six books on this anticipated reading list. And if I missed any, if there are any books that you guys know of that are coming out this month, please let me know because I'm always looking for some more books. I did try to gather as much information on each of these books as I could if they had an audiobook and I did end up getting a little bit of the blurb. I do like to go into most of my books pretty much completely blind but I wanted to have a little bit more information on these reads. I am going to start in order from when their release date is. The first book I'm going to talk about is Tastes Like Shocker by Nisha Sharma. This is set to release August 1st. This is a standalone although it is a part of the Dating Dr. Dill world series universe. It's a rom-com. It's a romance between a wedding planner and a chef and I'm so excited. I love food so it's like one of my love languages. I'm really excited to read this one just solely because he is a chef and I also love weddings which when I was younger I used to work weddings and if I had to guess this is going to be a lot of Indian cuisine. My first experience with Indian cuisine was actually when I was working a wedding so it's like this book was made for me. The audiobook for this is set to release on the day that the book comes out and this says it's perfect for fans of enemies to lovers, forced proximity, and people who love food and I am all of those. The next book is Cruel Seduction by Katie Roberts and this is set to release August 8th. This is book five in the Dark Olympus series. If you've read the previous books in this world you would know that this is a Greek mythology like retelling or inspiration. I have only read the first two books. I'm a little bit behind on this series but I'm excited for this release nonetheless. I imagine that it's probably best to read all of the books in the series before this one so even though this is a part of my anticipation releases. I'm probably not going to read it this month just because I have not read the previous books in this series. If I had to guess, I would imagine that the audiobook is going to be released the same day as the ebook. I do believe that this one is going to be a polyamorous relationship, which I'm really excited about. And because I am a dark romance lover, my next anticipated read is To Charm a Dark Prince by Catherine Ann Kingsley. This is set to release August 18th. It is a dark fantasy. I don't think I've read any of her works before but I cannot wait because the blurb sounded just right up my alley. This is the first book in a series. This is an enemies to lovers slow burn and the heroine in this one finds herself trapped. She makes a deal with the hero but she basically plans to sabotage the hero and it's just I just know it's gonna be wild and I cannot wait. This one I am not entirely sure about the audiobook because I do believe that this one is going to be indie published and uh, the way that Amazon kind of does it they don't really show that the audiobook is going to be available so I'm not entirely sure but I hope that the audio is available upon release if not hopefully soon thereafter. Another one that is an indie published book is The Cursed by Harper L. Woods. This one is set to release August 23rd. This is book two. The first book is The Coven and I read this when it came out and I was obsessed. I did kind of reread it and by reread I mean like I went through my favorite highlights, my favorite scenes. But book one ends on a cliffhanger that very much reminds me of Breaking Dawn part one cliffhanger which was like just like so intense so I need to jump into this one as soon as it comes out. This is also a dark fantasy romance with vampires and witches and the world that she created is perfect for those who don't really like high fantasy. For me I tend to get really distracted when it comes to high fantasy because the world building seems to be so extensive and I really get lost. This one is super simplistic. Now this one I'm not entirely sure about the audiobook but I do know that when The Coven came out the audiobook came out at the same time so I'm going to assume that this is going to happen the same way but actually I'm just going to really hope that it does because I really want to read this. This next one is supposed to be really dark and I have read her works previously and I was obsessed and yes they were dark. Feathers So Vicious by Liv Zander. This is set to release August 24th. Like I said, I read her previous work before and I was obsessed. I've reread that series probably three times and I'm not a huge 
rereader. But this is a brand new series. This is book one. I think it's going to be a duet, but this is two raven shifters and they're morally gray and they kidnap her. So that is right up my alley. I think it's going to be either MFM or MMF. This is another one I'm not entirely sure about the audiobook. The last book I want to talk about is The Good Girl by Nikki Sloan. This comes out August 29th. This is book five in the Nashville Neighborhood series. I have not read a single book in this series, but I love Nikki Sloan. I really need to jump on this series because I know I will be obsessed. But the blurb on this one sounds really good. It's brother's best friend and she is the good girl and she asks for him to corrupt her. So yeah, it's a college romance and that's pretty much all I know about this one. Again, I'm not too sure about the audio, but those are my six anticipated reads of the month of August. Did I miss any books? If there are some that are your guys' anticipated reads of August, drop them below because I would love to know. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.